Hey guys, welcome to Drinkity Drinks. We're about to do a review on Pampero or Pampero Anivisario. So uh, this rum specifically, um, I got a long time ago, about 15 years ago from a guy from Venezuela. He went to go visit um, his country. And then when he came back, he's like, oh, I bought you um, one of our famous rums here. And one of my favorites, his favorites. And he gave it to me and then it came in a little bag like this. And I was like, dang, it just looks so crazy. I never really seen stuff. I never really bought a lot of stuff back then, like stuff like this. And I just thought it was so unique. I'm like, dang, this has to cost a lot of money. And he told me over there it was just $20 in Venezuelan money. Here it's about $35, um, which is how much I paid for it. But a little bit of history on the rum. Okay, so this rum is a blend of rums. Um, it actually ranges in, ranges in maturity from four to six years. And uh, it's aged in whiskey and bourbon barrels. So what does that mean for the taste if it's aged um, in a whiskey and bourbon You're going to get oak flavors and stuff like that because rums are usually made in like pot stills and stuff, stuff that are made of metal. So you're going to get wood flavors out of it. Yeah, so this is from the Papero Distillery. Um, it's founded by Alejandro Hernandez in Venezuela. So it's a Venezuelan rum. But the most unique thing I found that I, uh, she was saying is that, you know, it's um, put inside of bourbon and whiskey barrels after it's made. And it's four to six years, so that's pretty good. So we'll take it out this bag. It's, it's hard as heck to get out the bag. I probably don't want to put it back in. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks. It looks really nice. It has the little um, tab on it, kind of like a maker's mark or something with their logo on it. It's a horse. A it's guy so riding dark. a horse. Yeah, that's it's from the really, barrels. Really dark. The, age, the aging of it. So that would be considered alcohol. a dark rum. Just says that it's uh, one of the most awarded rums in the world. It says made only with barrels that reach perfection. Those are very hard to find. <laughs> okay, and it says it's good alone or with ice. So one of the main things, I wanted to try it, but I also wanted to do another review. I was looking for reviews online, but I felt like there weren't many on this thing. I'm like, why don't do people not really like this rum? So... I want to do a review on it to add to the two other reviews that are online. Oh, it says uh, 25th Años de Excelencia. This was actually made to celebrate their 25th uh, anniversary in 1963 or something. Yeah, they made they made this concoction. Smells like rum. Uh, actually, tequila. <laughs> yeah, it does sweet too. Yeah, not too strong. Like I don't well, doesn't punch me in the sweet. face. Mostly anything with just the forty is not going to be that strong, mm -hmm. unless it's not aged for a while, which this is. So it should be pretty smooth. Yeah, so we'll just try it out. But like I said, it's real sweet caramel, all that. You could taste the wood right off the bat, and then you get the sweetness after that. Mm, I and guess that's kind of the hangs for a little bit. It's a little bit of woody, mm -hmm. like dryness. Yeah, it hits you the wood right away. But this isn't bad. But it's still good, and I remember when I got it, I'm like, I don't even want to mix this and everything, which I'm gonna mix it anyways. But I like um, the aftertaste, I, and mm -hmm. I'm never good at describing it. But <laughs> yeah, even when I breathe while drinking it, it's just so smooth, so light. And you just get wood and like I said, sweet stuff. Like, I just want to say like caramel. I mean, I'm not good at describing too many <laughs> flavors, but it's just sweet and just really good, easy to drink. Mm -hmm. You can drink this by it's itself really or take a shot by itself. Like, really easy to drink. Yeah, that's some good rum. It has, it, I mean, like, again, I haven't tried this like 15 years. It has more of a wood taste than what I remember. I remember it being so uh, oaky. Like, you can really taste those barrels. It even finishes like a bit dry, yet it's still... Like I said, you still have a sweet that hangs around and the flavor still stays there. I can still taste like wood and stuff. Let me get a glass with some ice and we're gonna make um, a drink out of it. So I have a cup with some ice and the, the cup is chilled, so it's gonna be super cold. You're gonna pour yourself two ounces of whatever kind of rum you wanna use. And this is a simple drink. Uh, uh, people might know it's called the Cuba Libre. It's a Cuban drink. So it's basically just you got your, your, it's basically a rum and coke, but they add lime to it. 
So I don't know if it was made in Cuba, but so we'll just top that up with some Coke. So we'll add some lime to it. Slick has our professional stir to stir this bad boy up. So here goes your Cuba Libre. I have a feeling it's gonna be really strong because I have a lot of a lot of liquor. Just two ounces. But it's easy, the Coke kind of is gonna die it down or should. I think it does use really more, interesting. More, more Coke. I'm sure. I want more lime. I never thought I'd want Coke, but Coke with lime. This is a good drink. It's like you get hit in the face with the lime first. You definitely get that really nice sour taste, which you don't expect with Coke. And it is a lot of rum in here but the lime helps it, and then you have a little bit of Coke aftertaste. So if you don't like Coke, this is still good because it's you're really tasting a lot of lime in the rum mainly. Mm. I don't think I ever had a Cuba Libre. Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. It's not my favorite type of drink. I've never had a Cuba Libre before. I've had tons of rum and Cokes. I probably would add a little bit more Coke to it because I can still taste this, which is not too bad of a, a deal, but I kind of want to balance it like a little bit more. I, want I think more it calls like a tall, a taller mm -hmm. glass. I think it's, it's, it's weird. I would have never thought I yeah. could drink it. It is. It kind of tastes a little uh, dusty, not in a bad way, like dusty, like a, it's old. Like this, like this tastes like it's a really old like this, we got it from the 1920s or something. <laughs> like, you could taste freaking decades inside of it. <laughs> but still not bad, but it does taste like a library. <laughs> it does kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so as far as a rating, this rum alone, I had higher hopes for it. It's not a bad rum, like I said. I, it was just one of the best rums I tasted at that time, talking 15 years ago or something when I tried it. And that's when I just drank Bacardi or something. And, and Captain Morgan, those are the only rums I drank. But this is definitely better than those. Uh, I probably would give this uh, 6.7. 6.7. I was going to go all the way to a 7, but I feel like it's really woodsy. You get a lot of that barrel and stuff and the dryness and like the oldness. I'm more into more of a sweet rum uh, with more flavors into it. I feel like there's there's our flavors in there and the flavors are pronounced But it's not a lot complex type flavors. You're getting only like three flavors. You're getting the wood. You're getting caramel You're getting like one other um, Flavor to it like I'd honestly give it a seven and a half or an eight because I thought it was very good Like I can mm -hmm. see my like I whenever I think about something I'm always thinking about like if I can take like a shot of it because I'm not a sipper mm -hmm. but I like to you know, go out. So I feel like if I'm ordering a shot, I want to enjoy my shot. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I would enjoy that. Like, I yeah. like it. I think it's good. Not only that, I liked how the, I mean, it's basically a rum and coke, but it was good. It didn't taste like a typical rum and coke. Like, I really liked the weird taste that it gave to it. So I think it's a very good rum. So um, anyways, um, thanks for stopping by. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. You can see our next videos that we got coming. Um, have a lot, lot, lot planned. Just got to find time to get all these things done and edited. And that's about it. So next time you drink, drink with somebody you love.